Well, Alex, let me come back to you and ask you, I mean, you've talked about your concerns about possible cutbacks, I suppose, in the use of uh, fossil fuels and the effect that might have. But what about pushing that the money that these oil and gas companies are getting towards improving the amount of, of renewable energy sources they can use, to upping the technology that? Surely you, you must think in the longer term that is the best solution to this problem. No, definitely not. So the the emphasis on renewable energy is, I believe, like a primitive religious emphasis of saying we want to do something that's in harmony with nature. The best alternative that's proven by far is nuclear energy, which the U.S. and to a large extent the U.K. have virtually criminalized over the last 40 years. So I think nuclear. Well, there's a huge problem of nuclear waste, of course. Well, it's actually not a huge problem. So I wouldn't say, of course, unless you're really confident in that. So nuclear waste is actually the safest form of waste in terms of any form of energy. Maybe hydro is an exception, but other forms of energy generate way more waste that's way more dangerous. Nuclear has been demonized and therefore criminalized in most of the free world. It costs 10 times more than it should. We should have incredible optimism about it. And a big part of my energy freedom platform, which is at energytalkingpoints.com, is that we should liberate nuclear. So what we want is we want low energy costs. And ultimately, if you want lower emissions, you need to find cost competitive global alternatives. Otherwise, you have high energy prices and suffering in a world where 3 billion people still use less electricity than one of our refrigerators in the US. So I think uh, that's immoral. We need more energy freedom. And that's what's going to get you the cost competitive alternatives long term.